So today we're going to be looking at more problem solving and the Venn diagrams. So now we're going to be looking at Venn diagrams and we're going to have three circles. So we've got a few more things going on. Now this example here that I'm looking at today is looking at those students that study mathematical studies, those that study German and those that study music. So some of you might like to actually have a go at doing this worksheet first and then to watch the video or just look at the lesson note solutions and some of you might like to just watch along. So let's have a look at how this goes. We want to see the number of IB students that are studying none of these subjects. So we don't want anyone in the circle, we just want something outside of the circle. So in this case it's 73. Now we need to look at mathematical studies someone studying mathematical studies but they don't study German or music so only people studying studies they can't study anything else so the answer to this has to be 22 mathematical studies and music so they have to study both mathematical studies and music and from yesterday's lesson we know that this and is meaning intersection so studies and music is three but not German, so nothing else, so the answer to this is only 3. The next one we're going to be looking at music and German, but not mathematical studies. So music and German, so music and German, so that must be 6, because this is the only people, but not mathematical studies. So remember the word and again is at intersection. So the intersection is 6 and we don't want anything that has to do with anyone studying mathematical studies. So the next one is how many, well, how are the people who are studying German? So if we have a look at everyone who is studying German, that would be everything in this G circle. So we have 8, 9, 6, and we have x. I don't even know what x is, but I'm going to just use my algebra and do what I can. So I've got 23 plus x. So who, how many people are studying all three subjects? Well, studying all three would be this intersection here. So in this case, it's just x. Musical German, but not both. So you can study music or German but you can't study both so not studying both would rule out the X and the 6 but music is 3 and 13 and German then is 8 and 9 which gives me 33 and mathematical studies or music so we want to study studies or music but not German. So we only want studies or music. So in this case, all we can put down then is 22, 3 and 13 because we can't put down anyone who is studying German as well. So let's have a look at the next part. If there are 136 students in the sample, find the value of X. So 136 students means the universal set is 136. So that means if I add everything up, x plus every other number, plus 8 plus 3 plus 22 plus 13, 6, 9 and 73 in any order you want, you have to get an answer of 136. Collecting my like terms, that means I get x plus 134 equals 136 and I get that x is 2 and that's how easy it is. Let's have a look at the last question and see how we all get on with it. So once again you might want to pause the video and have a go and then come back and watch it. Let's see what this one says. A city has three newspapers A, B and C. Of the adult population 1% read none of these newspapers. So I'm going to put 1% out here because I know it's not involved. 36% read A, 40% read B, 52% read C, 8% read A and B, 11% read B and C, and 13% read A and C. 
and 3% all read all three. Now, the thing is, when I have the all three, it's the same as what we did the other day. The three has to go in the middle. And it seems like everything wants to erase itself today. We can try that one more time. Three goes in the middle. Okay, and the one went outside. Now, 13% read A and C. So A and C is read both of them. So that's the intersection. So this would be 13%. But I've got three that read all three. So 13 minus three gives me 10. So I'll put 10 in here. So this is this one done. 11% read B and C. So here's B and C. B and C is 11. So 11 take away 3 would be 8, would be in just this funny shape here. So I've done that one. 8% read A and B. So A and B is 8%. So this must be 5 because 5 and 3 would make 8%. That is the intersection of A and B. And I've got 52% read C. So here is C. So all together is 52. So if I do 52, take away 10, take away 3, take away 8, I get 31. So that's what's left here. 40% read B. So the whole of B has to be 40. So if I take away 5, 3 and 8, I get 24. That's left. And 36 read 8, so 36 take away 10, 3 and 5 gives me 18. Now that I've put all of that onto my Venn diagram, I can then answer the question. How many people read newspaper A only? Well, only A and nothing else is 18%. I might change colours. Uh, newspaper B or newspaper C? So they, we want people who read B or C. So if I'm looking at B or C, what I'm really looking at is, if I think about it, everything altogether is 100%. I'm going to take away the 1% of people who don't read any newspaper. And I'm going to take away the 18%, which are the people that just read A. And that gives me everyone else that is left. Or I could have added all of these numbers up. I just think that this is an easier way of doing it. It's up to you. And we're also now looking at people who read newspaper A or B. So A or B, but not C. So we don't want anything to do with C. So what do I have left? I've got A or B and I've got the intersection of that which is 5 but I don't want anything that would be in C. So it's 8, 18, 5 and 24 which gives me 47%. And that's how easy the work is. Have a go at doing the exercises now. And there's also a worksheet that goes along with this. And if you have any questions, well, you know where to find me.